Okay, I'm going to attempt to make a short video on uh, changing the on and off switch in my RV water heater. Uh, when I bought it, somebody had left it, the switch in the on position. Of course, when I winterized it and drained the tank, and whenever I would plug it in, um, the power would be on, so I burned out a, a hot water heater element, which is right in here. I've changed that, and now the old switch was really tough to, to turn on and off, so the switch is not working. I don't know if you can see it right in there. So what I've done is I have pried that loose, uh, so I'll put the camera down show you the switch is right right there so it just pries out there's some leads on the back so I'll get this out and then uh, show you the leads and then we'll go from there okay now you see I've, I've removed this tube here it just fits up on here and swung that out of the way I have now removed the old switch. There are the leads. Now the trick is to get the new switch, the leads on the new switch, and then just push it in and we put it back together. So we'll see how that goes. Be back. Well, as you can see, needing those pliers, I was able to pull those leads out, which should make it easy now to, to install the new switch. Again, and bump it up. So that's the process. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. All right, there. Now it, uh, the new switch is installed. I just need to, to uh, push it, push it back in the hole. It's got a couple little clips on the side that hold it in place, and that's all there is to the repair. Um, leave it off, obviously, until you get some water in the water heater, otherwise you'll burn the element out again, as I did. So again, we'll push that back into the hole. We'll swing this back around, connect it here. That's the gas feed tube to the gas portion. So, I'll be back. All right, there the uh, switch is pushed back in. We'll swing this back around. It just lifts up and the bottom screw goes into the hole and then when you put put the nut back on and we're done. So again, can be a little awkward in tight spaces like everything RV. Everything's tight, but uh, with the proper tools, <laughs> which is just a screwdriver for, for prying it out or some way of prying that old switch out. And then I took some needle nose and pulled the leads as far out as I could to facilitate placing a new switch in without uh, tying yourself in knots. Then you just push the new switch back in and then reattach your gas feed tube to the gas portion. And that's it. Really that simple. So good luck with your projects and thanks for watching.